Hey friends, welcome to numerologist.com. It's me, Vanessa from Beyond Your Sunshine. This is your reading for September 14th to September 21st. Let's get started. Okay, so as always, you want to let it all go. Heavy month, heavy month. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Now, what number do you see? One, two, or three? What number? Comment below the number that you see in your mind's eye. Okay, so this week we have all four cards. They came out at once and they were all face down. So your subconscious is going through some major healing, major transformations, really trying to figure out what it wants to latch onto and make its new foundation. They're all face down. There's one card um, that is going to be the overarching energy of all three cards this week, okay? And that is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, for my readings, I typically say it's a person, um, but I think for this week, it's an energy, and that is a young mindset when it comes to security, the basic foundation, right? If you know any pe um, Pentacles people, meaning a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, really emulate them this week. Really take a look at them and be like, okay, like they're so organized. They're so logical. They don't just blow off the handle emotionally, depending on their moon sign. Um, they're very analytical. They're able to kind of make sense of the world and they're incredibly grounded, focused, and ambitious. We're going to tap into that energy this week in order to apply it to our specific energetic card, okay? So if you saw number one in your mind's eye, we have the justice card. So it's all about karmic fairness. You know, there's all about, you know, karma going around. I really feel like people are getting a lot of their karma. I've been doing a lot more past life, past life readings uh, lately. People are really starting to now wake up to the fact that maybe they were a good person in a past life and now they're being rewarded for it. Or maybe they were a bad person and now they're kind of getting their due. So this is all about recognizing this week that everything is balanced balanced out. You don't have to do anything. You are not karma. Karma, the universe will clear and balance itself out. You don't have to go and say, oh, I'm going to get revenge on this person. When you do that, you just create another tear in your karmic history. Let the universe play itself out. If you find that you are being punished in some way, flow with it. Maybe you are. Maybe it is you're, you're paying back your debt plus interest from a past life. And of course, if you want help with this, I am so in love with the past life readings. So I'd be happy to pull a past life card for you just to clear what you're now karmically attached to this week, okay? And keep in mind, these were all face down, right? So maybe your karma is based on a relationship with a young earth sign um, that your subconscious is still protecting you from because egotistically, you want to continue on this toxic relationship with this person. But once we do the past life reading, bring it to the conscious level, you realize, okay, let's clear this so that we don't create another karmic relationship in another lifetime. If you chose card number two, we have the Four of Cups. So what that's saying, the Four of Cups is pretty much being um, pretty bored at home, you know, recognizing that there is something missing, but stubbornly deciding to just focus on the three things in front of you that you're emotionally connected to. But this fourth thing is trying to come in and you are emotionally connected to it, but you're just not allowing yourself to let it in and to say, okay, maybe that is missing in my life. You know, you can only go so far living this lie of everything's perfect on the surface and everything's perfect on, on the gram and on Facebook. But then the day, if you can't even look at yourself in the mirror because it brings tears to your eyes, recognizing that there's something truly and fundamentally missing, you have to do the work. Okay, do it for your lineage. Not, don't even do it for yourself. Do it selflessly to say, I'm not going to allow this to continue on in my ancestry of pain and lack when it comes to what is going to truly make me happy. Okay, just go for it. You deserve it. One life, right? One life, YOLO. <laughs> do people still say that, YOLO? <laughs> One life, but you don't want to create that karma for a next life. Just be happy now, okay? If you chose card number three, we have the Empress. So... Empress card, nine times out of 10 for my readings, Empress card is pregnancy, okay? So maybe not pregnancy for you, but a pregnancy coming up for somebody close to you. Maybe it's this young earth sign. This pregnancy can also be translated into fertility, creating another opportunity, a business, creating a book, something artistic, creating some sort of project, but you are birthing something. Um, if it is the pregnancy card and that's not something that gets you super excited, 
please use protection. Um, if it does get you super excited, comment below and let us know so that we can congratulate you and put more positive energy toward it. But yeah, this week, um, be, be careful. Either create something, uh, some sort of project or something inspirational, or get ready to, to create another human in the world. Love you guys so much. And as always, if you want a personalized reading, you can reach me at Beyond Your Sun Sign or Beyond Your Sun Sign at gmail.com. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you so much again for watching this week's tarot video. As always, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Um, also, if you're interested in learning more about tarot cards and how they can help you in your life, click the link in the description box below and just open up your world to tarot.